NYA show back round two as we continue the week. What are we on? We on hump day. You know what are we on hump day? Or well, maybe on Thursday. We on Thursday. If it's Thursday, by the time this video come out, I should have a photo shoot lined up. Yeah, I should have a photo shoot lined up on um, Thursday. So I'm hoping everything goes well there. You know, the boy got to keep the work flowing. You got to keep the work flowing in. It can't just be the, the, the nine to five, baby. You got to have some other avenues. Um, here, literally, it is no pressure. Episode 154 with peace underscore peace. Those links will always be below, as well as how a mother advanced her life in the pursuit of dreams. Interview with Ash Brianna M. Thomas by AJ Tamby. Available on Spotify. Be sure you check it out. Like I said on the last show, support the kid. Share the video that I support. I, I appreciate every, you know, every single um, person who does that. Be sure Donald Trump is now a felon. That was one of my last videos. Check that out. Doris Miller, the American hero. Please watch my video on Doris Miller. Shout out, you know, God bless the dead Doris Miller. Brenda's got a baby at AHA. Please make sure you check out that in the head, too, which was a story from last week. Then we rolling in. Started the week off, um, at least my show started this week. Haiti's interim Prime Minister Gary Col Conan forms new government. Please let me know what y'all thoughts on that story as you continue to make your way through the week. Now, I don't know how many people watch Power, the original Power show with Amari Am Am Hardwick, uh, you know, um, a, a great cast of people. And then it branched off into the different uh, spinoffs of the show. And of course, my Michael Rainey Jr. is Tariq. Tariq, the former most hated. Now everybody roots for uh, Tariq. Here we are with a story I got from Ball Alert, but I already got the post where he spoke out about what happened to him in the video. Not putting that in here. Michael Rainey Jr. speaks out after being uh, assaulted, S assaulted during a Twitch live stream. All cameras on. Police don't have to do any investigations. Everybody do it right there on camera so you can see it and on the internet. I know. I would be in serious trouble if the world roles were reversed. So let's talk about what happened to um, uh, Michael Rainey Jr. On Sunday, 23-year-old actor made an appearance on Tata, on Tata James' Twitch live stream and was groped by James' sister. Um, Twitch is a live stream platform that a lot of people go on and they stream, stream, stream. People get comments. They, they can send you little trinkets. It's a lot that goes in the stream. I got a few people that I watch on stream still. Uh, not as much, but I, I know exactly what the streams are. Um, so he was groped by this this lot, this Twitch live stream. Um, his sister did it. The groping was not was not seen on camera as James' sister's hand were blocked by the children. Lord have mercy. Where are the parents? Are the children standing in front of her? But by the actor's reaction, the incident left him feeling uncomfortable in 4K, y'all, on the camera. At, at this point, everyone has seen the video circulating online. I am still in shock and don't fully know how to process what happened last night. This is an unfortunate situation that I do not condone in any way. I can't take it lightly because I know I would be in serious trouble if the roles were reversed. The fact is, sexual assault is never okay regardless of the gender or status. We're all human and we should respect each other. Most importantly, we should always respect ourselves because every the theme of this week is respecting ourselves and loving ourselves. And if you love yourself, you respect yourself. Keep your hands to keep your hands to yourself. So the situation was caught on video, and like he said, I guarantee y'all, Power Book Two Ghost Final Season would have ended yesterday. Do y'all hear me? It would have never. I don't think that as big as that show is that. That plug wouldn't wouldn't have got gotten pulled if he was on the live stream doing that to a, a girl that looked um that even looked uh younger. They could have been the same age, if she even looked younger than him. They would have been on him, and that show would have never seen a lot of day. I, I don't believe that they would even um I don't believe they would have played it. So he had to say something, and he right. He is 100% right because uh, anybody in his realm that's been accused of something like that, it don't have to even be on camera. You can be accused. Let a lawsuit get filed. That show you own, you in trouble, my boy or my girl. It's oh, you know, it's over for you know. So it's really be over for a lot of people when that happened. Um, so it, it was caught on camera, and like I said, it's on live stream. Look at these little children. Where the parents? There's another message, and um, you know that's missing. Uh, that's missing here. When we looking around and we see kids that small in the room and somebody felt comfortable enough to do that. So imagine what's happening when they're not guests like that over there. He added, my little sister was completely wrong. I did the guy, the Tata's, from, he spoke out. My little sister was completely wrong, out of line. She said, 
um, what she did was very inappropriate and unacceptable. I'm truly embarrassed and disgusted by her actions. I completely respect whatever direction Michael wants to go in this situation. After watching the clip, threw it under the bus, said, I don't care what you want to do. Uh, I was completely taken aback by what uh, um, by what she done. I will take extreme precaution with future streams to avoid similar issues and have and have banned her from participating in future streams. I do not condone any type of assault. I don't know how big a popular this guy was, but hopefully nobody goes back through. If he, any live streams, he keep up with his sister, and they'll be going back trying to clip. They'll be going back trying to clip that up. Additionally, Rainey spoke on it. He's still in shock. All right, this is an uncomfortable situation. Uh, but, um, to double down, the actors team also released a statement. Uh, saying, okay, yeah, that they were deeply saddened and shocked by the events that occurred during Ty Ty James' live stream this past weekend. Uh, his team even spoke out. The statement continued. The situation is not being taken lightly. The statement continued. Sexual harassment and assault are serious and unacceptable acts. Taking advantage of someone's celebrity in this manner devalues entertainers and underscores the need to respect their humanity. Those who entertain us are those who entertain us are human beings just like everyone else. So there it is. Let me know what y'all thoughts on that story there, man. Like I said, that, that young lady came up and groped that man on camera with kids in the room. Like we can't tolerate that in any form because it was the other way around, man. It'll be think pieces, man. Every big name you know, everybody would have been eating off this man. Everybody would have been eating off this man. And, and y'all know it. So it's important that support them during this time and that it is right. He did do the right thing by saying something about it because, yo, it would have powered, it would have been a ghost. True life ghost. We would have never seen it. We would have never seen it. It's the NYA show. Let me know what y'all thoughts are on this story. Michael Rainey Jr., um, like I said, I hope everything's well. I hope everything's well. When 50 Cent got on there kind of joking around with a little bit, and it was kind of on his ass a little bit, but 50 on 50, on 50 you know what I'm saying? An underdog is up, but I do want to hope, I hope that Michael Rainey Jr., a.k.a. our beloved Tariq, is um, um is all right. It's NYA show. Drop your comments and your thoughts below and share the video. I appreciate y'all per usual, and I'll see y'all on the next one.